This video is about the sub-page module, a contributed module that's developed by the Open University and basically what it does is allows you to have pages within pages within a Moodle course. So you might, for example, have a separate page linked to from your Moodle course where you then add all of your homework assignments, for example. The best way to understand this is to actually go and take a look at a Moodle where the sub-page module has been added and to take a look at one of the courses, how it's used. So if we look at this biology course, we can see that there's an icon, homework, and if we actually click there, it takes us to a separate page where I've already added three assignments. So they're within the course, but they're not making a long, long list on the course itself. If we now go back to the course, if we turn on the editing, we can see how this works. To make a sub-page, you go to the Add a Resource drop-down menu, that's where you'll find it, and then you click the link Sub-Page. And the first thing that you then do is you actually create the sub-page. I'll just make mine that I'll call that Random Presentations, for example. And then onto that sub-page, I will add some PowerPoint presentations. I'm going to click Save and Display to get to the sub-page quickly. And what you then see is you have a little section, just like a course section, with the drop-down menus, add a resource as an activity. So I'm going to click on add a resource and I'm going to go to file and add a PowerPoint in the normal way. I'm not going to show you that little bit on the video because it's quite straightforward. But you see I now have a page, a sub-page presentations, and if I click onto that, I get to see the PowerPoint that I just uploaded. If we take a look underneath in this sub-page, we see that there's a couple of other things we can do. We can click a button to add a section and what that will do is it'll give us another section just as if we were on a course page. So I've clicked the button and I've got another section into which I could add a resource or add an activity. The other thing is you can move items to or from this particular sub-page. So if we click on move items to this sub-page Let's imagine that I've already uploaded a PowerPoint into the main course page and I want to move it to this sub-page. I just click the one that I want to move, choose the section I want to move it into, and then my PowerPoint has moved from the main course page into this sub-page. So if we go back now to the main course page, we can see that I have a sub-page where I've got all my homework assignments, a sub-page where I have my presentations, and I can easily move within each of these sub-pages as I wish. A brilliant way of avoiding the scroll of death in Moodle.